Hi, this is Brian Farrell with Aqueous Solutions LLC, makers of the Geochemist Workbench. Today, I'll show you how to create a dual porosity model in which solute diffuses into and out of stagnant zones in an aquifer. To get started, I'll find the Geochemist Workbench folder in the Start menu and launch X1T. I've opened a saved X1T file in which lead contaminated water infiltrates a pristine aquifer. We start out by defining the chemistry of our pristine aquifer on the initial pane. Here we have sodium, chloride, and an insignificant amount of lead. Moving to the first inlet pane, we see um, once again sodium, chloride, but a much greater concentration of lead. This first inlet fluid enters the main from zero years until two years, at which time the second reaction interval begins. From two years until 10 years, the second reaction interval, our second inlet fluid, composed of sodium chloride and an insignificant amount of lead, flushes through the domain. So we have an initially clean aquifer, two years of lead contaminated water enters, followed by eight more years of clean water flushing the domain. We set the flow field and uh, discretize our domain on the domain pane. We set various uh, medium properties and mass transport properties on the medium pane. In order to enable our dual porosity model, we go to config dual porosity to bring up the dual porosity dialog box. Now in a dual porosity model, a nodal block is divided into a free-flowing zone and a stagnant zone. Water travels through the free-flowing zone, but not the stagnant zone, which is close to flow. As groundwater bypasses the stagnant zone, the solute it carries is allowed to diffuse into and out of the stagnant zones. We'll enable the dual porosity uh, model. We'll say that the stagnant zones occupy 40% uh, of the aquifer volume. We'll specify the number of uh, subnodes in the uh, stagnant zone and we'll set a characteristic dimension and a diffusion length for the stagnant zone. Uh, more information is available in the GWB Reactive Transport Modeling Guide. We'll click Apply, and now we'll move to the results pane and run the model. Now we'll go ahead and plot the results. On the x-axis, I've plotted distance along the domain and on the y-axis, the concentration of lead in the fluid at 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 years. A quick video will show you how this contaminant pulse moves through the domain. We can see the effect of the dual porosity model is to attenuate the concentration of lead as it migrates and to retard its displacement from the aquifer. Thanks for watching.